से साधु 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 सो डियर धामा प्रैक्टिशनर्स एज ऑर्डिनरी पीपल वी आर एवरी डे लुकिंग फॉर अवर ओन सेल्फ सेटिस्फेक्शन एंड एट द सेम टाइम थ्रू द मेडिटेशन ऑल्सो we mostly looking for this conventional satisfaction and comfort and safety but the meditation is not a kind of like uh, something or teaching trying to make your ego safe meditation is a method allow you to to become free from all the thoughts because that oh, if you look very carefully this everything in this world we experience because of the thoughts and uh, even our happiness depend on thoughts our sadness worry disappointment this everything depend on thoughts so tranquility meditation and vipassana meditation is a method that take you away from thoughts and that is where you can experience the ultimate bliss of liberation but sometimes when we enter to the method of this meditation mostly we trying to secure our own thoughts and settle down with our own thoughts and find the safeguard with the our own thoughts but that way you cannot become free from the thoughts because why because your itself your own thoughts providing the security to experience yourself so that way you are total freedom not going to experience but there is a method little by little little by little you can practice so that's why in the beginning you come to observe the inhalation exhalation so mostly we think our life happening for something else your life happen not be happening your life is not happening for something the existence itself is the the method of desire for something that is the existence so why the existence happened that way not because of someone else power decision authority authority or initiation it is just by but by, by your own thoughts why because you you think your life happening because of because for something so when the existence itself have the desire to fulfill something itself it become your existence when the life have the desire to fulfill something then itself become your sansara so then how you can get out of this not by praying wishing dreaming chanting asking so then how you can get out of this remember this very carefully the is a kind of like a puzzle but if you recognize it and then you can unlock this and you can untangle this whole mess we believe and we think our life happening because for something and with that our mind always create desire to fulfill so that itself become our existence and 
when it comes to the reality, your life happening right now, right here. So it's not happening for something in the future. Your life happening right now, right here. So if you able to recognize that and with the conscious decision, if you able to put the right things at the right place, you get out of this existence entangled. You get out of this sansara. Right, your life happening right now, right here. So if you able to take a conscious decisions to put the right things at the right place at the right time, then you, you're going to experience complete liberation. But why it is difficult, why you need to practice something specially, why you, why you need to listen to the Dhamma, why you need to have the community of Sangha, because we already cultured, we already develop a pattern inside. We already have a method developed inside our mind, our life happening for something. So then practicing meditation, how you can get into the moment of the, the very, the, moment of existence, how you can get into it. So the, what is the right things to put right place? So the right things mean your mind. And what is the right place? Your body. So what is the right time? This moment. So your right things means your mind. Right place is your body. And right time is your this very moment. So with the mind, that means you take a conscious decision so to catch the body, that means you get into the sensation and right timing, you follow with the sensation of the inhalation or exhalation. So in the beginning, you start to observe and see separately the inhalation, exhalation. And then you, you recognizing later, it is not, you, you recognize it separately, one by one, but later you recognize it is not one thing. It is not, a, it is not two. It's like inhalation, it's kind of like one thing. And exhalation, it's a like one thing, separate. But when you deeply observe what happening, your mind start to separate from the comparison. And you recognize this is, it is not a one thing, it is even not two things. Because inhalation is a result of exhalation, exhalation result of inhalation. And not only that, the body, the mind integrate. Then you come to a point to understand this whole process as one. So when you come to that point to understand this whole process as one, that understanding come out of not because of the past experience or not because of your future desires. 
it experience come out of that experience come out of in that very moment what you recognize and that is where you, your mind completely get out of the the time space and the, this self centered identity and you become 100% fully open mind you are ready to accept everything that that is where then again you going to experience that moment by moment everything change not only one thing not only the object you observe this everything change moment by moment so this is a process that you you see it is really happening with us but little by little little by little practicing yourself you have to get into the method to recognize this so then remember yourself the meditation meditation is not a kind of like a, something trying to encourage you to sit with your ego it is not something teach you to to develop your ego or self centered mind meditation is not a kind of like a babysitting for your desires it is completely make you free from the desires so the desire in the surface level you see as pleasure now we go there so how the place arise when something come to your eye ear nose tongue body mind as perception of course naturally there's something arising you know, that we call enjoyment so whatever you see beautiful nice when you hear something when you taste something feel something there is something happening in you in this biochemical process there is something happening and at the same time for that experience there is deeper your past experience will funding which we call sanskara or mental formations Just keep matching with your past experience and then it accepting so this process keep happening so what is then the pleasure what is the pleasure how the pleasure arises in us because the pleasure is the kind of like a seed or the shadow of the desire so so far we came and how the the desire play the role in our life and so now we going to recognize how the pleasure play the role so in the beginning natural enjoyment is natural process it is not a magic billion billion years ago to even in the future eons by eons whoever human beings come with the eye ear nose tongue body mind and this enjoyment will happen not the pleasure enjoyment will can happen so the moment you export experience with the perception is the enjoyment and out of that enjoyment if you hold it and go with that moment then we call it enjoy continuation of the enjoyment is enjoying and that, that is the moment of process as example you you see the landscape in the top of the mount so the you come to the enjoyment and maybe you stay there 10 minutes that mean that enjoyment you enjoy for 10 minutes so it, it according to the duration you put the place 
time, duration, enjoyment come. So you enjoy out of the enjoyment. You go to the beach and you stay there 30 minutes. So that so the the very scenery of the beach and the the breeze and the, the cold and the weather around it, or maybe the hot or the sand, this all give you enjoyment. So then maybe you stay there 30 minutes, that means you enjoy it for 30 minutes. Continuation of that moment with the timing and with the experience happening, that continuation enjoy. So now you know the enjoyment and enjoying. So out of the enjoyment and out of the enjoying, how the pleasure arises? The pleasure arises when, when you 30 minutes enjoy, the continuation you keep going. What happening the when the current start to become higher, with your past experience and the, with, the, the, with the past behavior or the attitude with the mind formations, what happening? There is a, remember this, there is a thought arising you know, related to that enjoy, whatever you enjoy. What is the thought arise? I must have this again. That is what called pleasure. So, whatever the perception come to you, I, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind. So, with the scenery, smell, sound, taste, feelings, that moment, that connection with you, enjoyment. And then how far you keep continue that continuation of the that enjoyment, the duration is enjoying. Rather than dropping there, stopping it there. Maybe so it's nothing wrong with the enjoying. But the thing is this. Why? Because the enjoyment happening and enjoy happening right now, right here. The, that means, as example, at the beach, you en you're enjoying the scenery. It's nothing wrong with that. You go there, you see it. You go to the top of the mountain, you see the landscape. You see the beauty. That the seeing that beauty is nothing wrong. You know, you always have to appreciate that. So then, what is wrong then? Once you came out of the mountain, you come with the idea, I want to enjoy this again. When you come out of the beach, rather than finish it there, when you leave the, the beach, you finish it there. Over, period, done. But you come again, you thinking, I want to have this experience again. This desire, bring the pleasure. This continuation again and again, again and again to happen. Bring the pleasure. So the danger is this. Listen this very carefully and, and try to catch this. This is what happening. This already happened to us. Just we trying to reverse this mechanism and try to understand what is happening inside. This is what happening. So you go to the beach, you enjoy there, it's nothing wrong. In Buddhism, there is no any place 
talk about that this enjoyment is wrong. No, the seeing the beauty is a bliss. There are a lot of misunderstanding about the, the Buddha's teaching. There's an experiencing world. There's nothing wrong experiencing world. And, uh, and uh, one, another one thing is, is, especially when we talk with these young, young children, and they, they're afraid when they say the, sometimes Buddhism, it is things is kind of like a very dull, lazy, you know, this talk about everything, you know, sad, everything impermanent. So kind of like that in a very negative way. It is not like that. It's a, the, the Buddha's teaching mostly is the, the one of the best teaching that you can experience the real life rather than in dreams or the delusion or the illusion or kind of like that. And another misunderstanding is the, about the sex. And some people hate the Buddha's teaching. Buddha never talk about the, that don't do sex. No, what the Buddha is saying, don't misconduct it. That is what. But so when it comes to the general teachings, we don't so then when it comes to the enjoyment, seeing the beauty is nothing wrong. Hearing something, nothing wrong. And smelling the good and eating something good, whichever you like and make you healthy, is nothing wrong. Associating the good people. Nothing wrong. Of course, you need the good people around you. Nothing wrong. But at the same time, what is wrong, you have to understand. When you enjoy something rather than stopping at that place, leaving it that place, why you carry it with you? That is what makes all the suffering, the unhappiness, the sadness, worry, disappointment, and everything. So in day-to-day -day life, develop a mind not to depend on pleasure. So this is what happening with the pleasure when you go with it. Just imagine you go to the beach and you stay there 30 minutes and you come back. So now while you coming back, while you enjoy it in the first time, and you were so happy. And then while you're coming back, you start to think, I want to have it again. Then you go to sleep thinking, I want to have it again. So like that, this how I want to have it again idea become stronger, become stronger. Listen, this very careful. Become stronger. Then what, you know what happening later? Even while you experience something, you are, rather than experiencing it at the right time, at the right place, right moment, while you experience it, the idea come to you, I want to have it again. So then what will happen? In this very moment, what you experience anymore, not going to become experience. It overtake by the desire of, I want to have this again. See the power of the pleasure. And once we caught up in that current, what will happen? So whatever come to you, eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, you miss the opportunity to enjoy it. Even you, there's no enjoyment and then when there is no enjoyment, you cannot enjoy it. Why? Because the desire come as a pleasure. And then rather than moment of experience, deeply you get addicted to the, the, the current or the feeling of the pleasure. That's why wherever you go, rather than seeing the, the place, 
you just start to take the pictures because then you start to come to a point to collect memory then you depend on collecting memory so then we go and connect it to the the past the life happening not for something like the life happening at this very moment right here right now but what is the existence means you have intention to fulfill something in the future thinking i want this so see when the pleasure become a current once it take you out from the moment and it start to project towards the future to go towards something that it itself is our life so then what is the solution stay away from things resisting things controlling and holding things no just come to the right place settle down with the right things with the right at the right moment so what is the right thing is your mind what is the right place is your body what is the right time is now when you able to settle down your mind with your body in this very moment that is what call clear comprehension so when you able to tune to that moment and when you empower that experience moment by moment moment by moment what will happen that the process you already develop with the pleasure the start to slow down why because this old mind whatever you practice it become your life so once it the the right methods once it start to become clear comprehension become powerful stronger the dream state is start to disappear the darkness is start to disappear light going to arise so that is the day you going to experience your liberation your transformation the ultimate bliss of nibbana so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhityo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukhi dita yuko bhava ಇತ್ತಾವತ್ತಾಚಾಮಿಸಂಪದಂಪತ್ತಿಸಿಯಾ ಸಬ್ಬೇ ಬೂತಾನು ಮೋದಂತು ಸಬ್ಬ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿಸಿಯಾ ಇದ್ದ ಪುಣ್ಯಕಮ್ಮ ಸ